Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome everyone to Answers for Elders radio network heard across the USA. And we are so excited to have a very special special program for you today because we are remote to an amazing community and right in the heart of downtown Seattle. And for those of you that may be listening in Boston or Philadelphia or Atlanta or Dallas or anything like that, you're going to learn a lot of things about a very special type of community and really what goes on during the holiday season in senior living. And I felt it was important that we come to this um you know, location, and I want everyone to get to know Skyline Retirement Community in Seattle, and I am here with Brooke Caston, who is the Associate Executive Director, and welcome, Brooke, to the Answers for Elders. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. We're excited you're here because I think about so often... There's so many families right now that they may be getting together with their loved ones mm-hmm. over the holiday season. They may start to see maybe some changes with mom or dad or even a husband or wife. Maybe a wife is concerned about some challenges with their, her husband and vice versa. And so, um, Brooke, I, I guess I want to first start out with, you know, what do you find usually when people are around the holidays what kind of activity do you have as far as questions from families when they're calling you yeah i mean i think generally people want to know what what we have going on you know why would Mm -hmm. somebody want to move to a place like this Mm -hmm. Um, and we have a thousand things going on so we have um we actually have a fairly vibrant Jewish community here at Skyline. So Love we have that. had uh, nightly menorah lightings. And this weekend we have a Hanukkah celebration with the local rabbi. Wonderful. We have a, a chorale performance uh, tomorrow night with Christmas music. We have, you know, a hot cocoa bar this afternoon. Oh, um, we have... You know, uh, Christmas Day brunch, New Year's mm-hmm. brunch. We have a New Year's Eve party with ball drop. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we have a ton of stuff going on. And, you know, it's so great because it, for those of you that are watching us on YouTube, you're going to see a a video of me walking around the community that Brooke and I just took a little tour. And I really encourage if you're in Greater Puget Sound or the Seattle area and you're curious what type of amazing location this community is in the heart of so much activity as it is and Brooke I'm just going to go start in right now what makes Skyline um, unique and this is something that's really exciting is it's called us what we call in the industry a CCRC which stands for continuing care retirement community Um, Brooke tell us about what that is So uh, it really means that we have the entire continuum of care here on one campus. Uh, So we have independent living apartments where you live in your apartment independently without care, Mm -hmm. basically like having a condo. Yeah. Uh, We have assisted living where Mm -hmm. we provide, um, you know, something minimal like just medication management Mm -hmm. all the way to, you know, hair lifting and, Mm -hmm. and pretty pretty full care. Right. We have a memory care facility, which is geared specifically to our residents that have dementia. Mm -hmm. So we have activities that are specific towards uh, dementia uh, residents, as Mm -hmm. well as it's a locked unit to prevent any wandering. And then we also have a skilled nursing facility. So if uh, somebody has gone to a hospital and needs a short-term rehab stay, Mm -hmm. you know, get daily therapy to to get back to being independent, um, or if they get to a point towards the end of their life where they're, you know, medically unstable and need mm-hmm. 24-hour nursing mm-hmm. and medical oversight, then we mm-hmm. can provide that on campus yeah. too. And you know what I really love about a CCRC is a lot of families. The cost of health care is astronomical. Oh my gosh, yeah. And cost of senior living can be astronomical. And with an entrance fee, you can come in and never have to worry about running out of money. That they yeah. will take care of you yeah. the rest of your life. And this is a concern, I would say, for a lot of families out there. They think, oh my gosh, you know, my mom is 
paying, you know, $8,000, $9,000 a month. How can, long can she sustain this? Yeah. And it's fearful of the family. This is the beauty of a program like this, community like this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, and you know what makes Skyline somewhat unique, um, at least unique in the Seattle area, is mm -hmm. that we offer a type A contract. So that is, you know, we're an entry fee-based community, mm -hmm. um, but as you move through the continuum of care, if you move to mm -hmm. assisted living or memory care, your cost, uh, your monthly rent cost does not change. Wow, it that's Actually, amazing. in some cases, it goes down. That's amazing. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, I used to work as a discharge planner from a skilled nursing facility and trying to get people the health care, the uh, care and oversight mm -hmm. that they need at home. It was very overwhelming yeah. for people. So, yeah. I have heard in some cases that people, especially in memory care, they're mm -hmm. paying thirteen to fifteen thousand yeah. a month yeah. for some communities, yeah. and it's outrageous yeah. when you think about if somebody sells their home, they might get a million dollars for their home, but when you start adding up the, you know, maybe you're going to live another ten years that money is going to go pretty fast. Yeah. The nice thing about it is you're not going to have that hit of, oh my gosh, how am I going to sustain this? Yeah. And th so that's the beauty of a CCRC. Now tell me a little bit about what's unique us about Skyline besides the continuum of care that you do. You um, have an amazingly beautiful facility. Yeah, it is it is very different from a lot of other CCRCs. It is. Um, a lot of CCRCs or retirement communities are maybe more in the suburbs or a mm -hmm. little farther out. So they're maybe a bigger, wider, broader campus, mm -hmm. um, and ours is three high-rise towers right in the middle of downtown. So, yeah, yeah we have uh, we have an amazing view of Puget Sound. Uh, we have an amazing view of Mount Rainier out the south side of the building. Yeah. So, and those of you that are watching the video on YouTube, you'll be <laughs> able to see that. Yeah, we'll show it. We have a beautiful day today, so yeah. it's great. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, aside from just the actual structure of the building being a high rise, we are a block away from one of Seattle's bigger art museums. We're about half a mile from the symphony. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, we are within walking distance of, you know, a ton of different arts and cultural. Um, well, and access to health care. Oh, absolutely. Which is, yeah. you know, the obvious, but it's something I think that when you get older, when you're a senior, you want to be, make sure that you, if something happens, that you're close to someone that can care for you in yeah. an emergency situation. Yeah. And it's really nice to be on First Hill. And First yeah. Hill is such a, it, it's a um, historic part of Seattle, I think, that is really important about the culture. And I, speaking of culture, I want to note that I love the diversity in this community. Huh. There's a lot of people of color, um, different types of, like you said, Jewish population. Yeah. The diversity is amazing here. Yeah, well, I think it's part of me part of being downtown as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, 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 well, but it's a, it's it's enough to be said. We do need, yeah. I think there's a lot of people out there that have hesitation going into a senior living um, situation because it may be down a certain lane type mm -hmm. of, of interest or whatever that is. And the nice thing is this is this is really open. It's inclusive to everyone. And I think that's the thing that's really exciting. How now speaking of diversity, mm -hmm. obviously you're doing Hanukkah celebrations. We are, yeah. How are the other residents that aren't Jewish, how did they take to the those types of celebrations? Are they're probably really interesting, I would imagine. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, we have um, a big party on uh, Saturday in our mm -hmm. performing Art Center, which we saw, um, and it's packed. I mean, that that room fits 150 to 200 people. That's amazing, uh, and it's packed every time. And we have uh, traditional Hanukkah food, and it's all latkes. And we have latkes. <laughs> we have latkes. Uh, yeah. We have the jelly donuts. We have yeah. locks. We have lovely. Lot of good stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's really interesting, and obviously, we're going to talk a lot about Skyline Retirement Community. What? makes it special and we're going to talk specifically about the holidays we're wishing you all happy holidays and in the meantime Brooke how do we reach you if people are interested in your community how do they reach out to you uh, honestly the easiest is to just call um, you know we can always we have a lovely marketing department if you want to just show up one day then uh, we're happy to show you around but you know, if you call in and speak to one of our uh, our sales reps, they will plan an entire itinerary for you based on uh -huh. what you're interested in. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll plan meals, we'll plan fitness classes. You can even do a uh, like a weekend stay yeah. if you want. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is too is like is to get to know someone. I imagine you encourage people come for lunch, come oh, for a dinner, yeah. 
check out the food, and I'm sure yeah. we're going to learn a lot about the food yeah. um, coming up next in our next segment. But yeah. I really want to talk to you um, this week about really embracing, pay attention to mom and dad, everyone. Mm -hmm. Think about how you can be a conduit to a better quality of life if, in fact, they need help. This is a conversation that we're having this week for the holidays. And Brooke, you and I, we're going to be back right after this. Sounds good. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.